This is where Letitia Ngenda Kumana's father was found. After almost 50 years, she was able to identify his body thanks to his four gold dentures. The 1972 massacres loom large in the collective memory of Burundi. Between 100,000 and 300,000 people were killed. Letitia was just 10 years old when her father was arrested in Bujumbura, Burundi's largest city. We never knew where my father was taken. What I know is that they took our land. They looted everything we had. We lived a miserable life and we had to return to the interior of the country. Letitia's father was a senior banker and a Hutu living in Bujumbura. He was arrested by the Tutsi-dominated government and the family lost everything overnight. Her younger sister Magnifique was a baby at the time. There was no relief. I'm still sad. When I remember all that, I think maybe I wouldn't have had this life if it hadn't happened. The Burundian government established the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, known as the TRC, to investigate the inter-ethnic massacres and get to the truth. Since 2019, the TRC has been exhuming mass graves throughout the country, using witness testimonies to locate them. Thanks to these efforts, some families have managed to find their loved ones' remains. In the political capital Gitega alone, the TRC says it has found nearly 7,000 victims after exhuming nine mass graves. Last December, it declared that the massacres constituted genocide. When we say today that it is a genocide committed against the Hutu ethnic population in Burundi, it is a genocide because the state planned, organized, carried out this genocide because the resources of the state were used. But not everyone shares this view in Burundi. What began on the 29th of April 1972 as attacks by Hutu extremists against Tutsis led to reprisals that quickly escalated into massacres of the Hutu elite. Some accuse the TRC of bias because the commission's members mostly belong to the Hutu-dominated ruling party. One must recognize that in Burundi, ethnic conflict is a constant theme which is hugely exploited. At the time when the Tutsis were in power, the idea of a Hutu menace was a constant theme, whereas today it's the opposite. It's the idea of the Tutsi menace, which is also a constant theme. The TRC has been criticised for focusing its research on sites where Hutus were buried and ignoring those where Tutsi victims were found.